It's now a part of my life. You have your marks on your body, so it's impossible to forget. I don't want to hide it. I'm really proud of what I've done, you know. My first days are really nice, you know. I had a good welcome from everyone. Coach, how are you? I'm good, how are you? To your wife, to you. Welcome to Google Cedar. Just looking forward to starting. Your journey that you've been on has been quite something. When was the first moment that you knew something was wrong and how did you find out? I was talking with my, uh, with my osteo to, to say that, yeah, we should probably uh, check because it's not normal, you know, it's like five weeks, something like that. I don't feel that comfortable in this, uh, in this part of my belly, so we need to check. In 24 hours, they knew it was a tumor. So yeah, big, uh, big shock, of course. Maybe the most difficult is to know that you will cause uh, pain and sadness to people from your family. So uh, I called my wife, she was, she was in holidays with the kids. So uh, of course now holidays are quite uh, done. I said to my brother and sisters, but not to my mom, because I don't think it's something she could, you know, just process on the phone, you know. Uh, she had to get people around to make sure that uh, everything was okay. So uh, yeah, it was not the easiest part, but fortunately it's something you, ha you had to do. It's such a heavy word even, cancer. What were your emotions just processing that? Try to uh, stay calm. When you start to uh, thinking about bad things or you, when you go in every, uh, every direction, you, you're doing mistakes. What things helped you in those next months in your recovery? I would say probably the support from everyone. And of course, to be able to see my family every day was, uh, was also nice. What were the harder moments of the recovery that you went through? The third uh, chemo, because you know that you've been to uh, two already, so uh, you know, was, you know that the, 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 the way is still, uh, is still long. When was it you were told that you were going to be able to play again? And how was that? When the doc told me that at the green light, for me it was just official. Legally, I could be back on the pitch. This was really a, a relief, you know. It's important for me to be here, you know, to show to everyone that uh, even if uh, this thing happened, I feel great every day. I'm lucky, I have people around me. Yeah, we you saw your beautiful wife. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's because of her. Yeah. But, like I said, everything's fine. What would you say to men who don't have testicular cancer on their radar? I want to say just that it can happen to everyone. It can happen to everyone, it can come quick. So, we need to check. It can save life, not only your life, but also your family, because if something happened, of course, you have people around you that can affect, so uh, we, need to, uh, we need to check. Last season, 11 goals in the Champions League, one of the top scorers. How does it feel to now be back after all this? Yeah, it's, uh, it feels good, it feels good. Uh, I just want to, uh, yeah, looking forward to play this game, you know. I just enjoy every moment and uh, takes the thing when it comes, you know.